My guest today um, is for me arguably one of the greatest actors I have ever borne witness to and I say that not because I saw him on All My Children or saw him on Andromeda or saw him on Noah's Ark but I remember the day that I went to see this actor who I had known of in the National Shakespeare Company in Washington DC's version of Coriolanus and when he first took the stage there was an awe moment because he was tall and commanding, locks down his back and shirtless. But then he gave a soliloquy about midway into the production that caused the second awe as he was strong and loquacious and bold and I knew that one day I would have to sit and speak to this man. I didn't know when I stepped into the Luna stage that it would be because of a work so stunning that it has since I saw it and during it has brought me to tears. So my guest today is the brilliant actor, playwright, genius of a man, named by his parents, Keith Hamilton Cobb, on this edition of Now What with Kevin E. One foot in front of the other No, you don't have to live up to something already done. That's like asking Patty LaBelle how she lives up to the note she hit. I am speaking with yeah. reference to what I saw. I ain't asking you to do nothing. But all right, wait. all right. Lovely. So I bore witness. All right. So, so how? Ooh, we have so much to talk about. But what we so tell me the story of Keith Hamilton Cobb. Even the name rings of something austere. Tell me your background and how it is that you got into acting. I know what I've heard about in the play, but is that the What's the fullness of it? How, what was it about acting that drew you to it? Oh, uh, wow, well, that's, that's a big question. Let's see, where do I start? I start with the name. Uh, Keith, Keith, for, as, for, as a stage name, Keith Cobb was just too staccato for me. That was my given name. Hamilton was given to me uh, by my mother after a colleague of hers. She's a physician, and she had a nurse colleague who died, and, and it was in honor of her. So Keith Hamilton Cobb sort of seemed much more, and, and you know, the brothers with their three names, you see a lot of those <laughs> in, in, in the industry, I think probably for the same reason, you know, uh, it just sounds better. Uh, I think I was an actor, uh, or realized I was an actor at, at probably about nine, ten, but I wasn't a terribly social child outside of the small community of playmates that I had. You know, in my in my neighborhood, I wasn't terribly social in, in school. I didn't do well with strangers. So when I got to the age where one would indulge in things like high school drama club, you know, I just wasn't. I couldn't. You know, so I never really did it. I never really indulged it on on, on any level until I I got into college and uh, junior college actually, and I was studying English. I thought I, I might be an English teacher, ultimately, or a writer of some sort. And uh, I was studying classical texts and Shakespeare specifically, and wondering why I could not lift them off the page, why they did not feel, they did not make me feel as, as literature, as something to read. And then I saw some productions in performance, and I realized immediately, ah, oh, this, isn't, this isn't supposed to be read. Uh, this is supposed to, this is live. This is, this is alive and, and active every moment and, and, and changing, and if somebody's good, you feel it and you understand because Shakespeare is uh, about the human condition. All of it, all the time, and that's why it never dies throughout the world because no matter what changes in the context of the words, you know, a lot of the words don't mean the same thing that they meant in 1500-something you know, in, in, in England, but the, 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 the nature of humanity remains. And, uh, People play that. People understand that. People, people uh, re respond to that. As did I in, in that situation. I said, ah, ah, this is what I wanted to do. Now, now I remember. Um, and from that, I was, uh, you know, I, mean, I applied to one acting school because uh, I was lazy, and, you know, and, 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 and any number of other untoward things. And uh, I, I was, luckily or unluckily, I don't know, I was uh, admitted to NYU. And right. That. So the one acting school you applied to was in line. That's right. Okay. That's right. Balls of steel. 
And I, uh, I, I went for, I had a lot of credit to transfer from uh, community college. I, I didn't have a, a, a lot of core requirement uh, that I needed. So I, I studied there for two and a half years and left and thought the best training after that would not be graduate school of any sort. Uh, so I didn't pursue that. It would be going out and being an actor, just doing it, doing it on, on some level somewhere. That's where I was going to, I was going to learn to do it well. And that um, has been a long uh, circuitous, uh, often often uh, ridiculous, uh, uh, indescribable road that, that, that brings me here. Um, certainly not an easy choice. Um, gigs um, have been myriad but few and far between and in, in, when you measure them on on, on the, the, the space-time continuum uh, the, the time of a life I mean I'm I'm 52 you know um, so uh, it, is, it, is, it, it, it has been a long road I left school in 1987 um, so there was a lot of space in between working to think about well what else can I do what else should I do what else uh, and I, I say to young people, you know, when, when, I, when I'm asking, I'm asked often, uh, this is just a quick segue, I, I have never really built myself as a teacher. People say, well, why don't you teach? I say, because I'm not a teacher. We, 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 I can teach by example. I can, I, can, I can lend people my experience if they ask. I can lend them my advice. But I don't hold myself out. I've never hung out a shingle and said, you know, come to me and I will teach you how to be a performer. All I can do is teach you how to act like me. People invariably ask, oh, well, what advice would you give? And I say, if there's anything else, anything else that you would just as soon do when you sit down in your quiet time, if there's anything else that you would just as soon do that comes to you as I could do this as well, then do that because this is horrible. You know, this, is a, this is a horrible thing unless you have to do it. And the thing that drives you in, 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 in that difficult time is that this is what I do. I don't, I don't, have, I don't have a choice. But Right, right. It's, it's what I do and it's what I have to do. Because that has to be what compelled you when you're ballsy enough to just go out to, to do it, especially as a tall, dreadlocked, deep-voiced man. You know what I mean? It could have been an easier transition. If you cut your hair and maybe I could do leading man or a guy in you know any business room. You know what I mean? Well, but there was a sense of presence that you also stayed in as well. Yeah, and that you know that that is that is one of the myriad stories in this. I talk about this long circuitous road. You know that. When, when, when you are, are young and naive, you, you, you make choices because it's like nobody, n nobody told the bumblebee that aerodynamically it shouldn't be able to fly, <laughs> you know? So, so it does. And uh, I got out of school and did a, 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 an apprenticeship for a summer and uh, came back to the world and said, okay, well, I'm, 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 I'm going to pursue this, but if I'm going to pursue it, I'm going to pursue it as me. And my hair had just started to grow. So if I'm going to supplicate myself on this altar of, of, of this industry, I am going to do it as me. They are going to embrace me. And I found very quickly that that wasn't necessarily so uh, uh, in, in many ways. Um, where, where that look of, of short, dreadlocked black men was working, it was in the world of, of, of Cosby and right. comedy uh, or, 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 or selling, uh, you know, Commercial selling, right. you know, fast food, uh, you know, to, to to you know, people of color. Uh, Tell me then how, when that look, and I know there's some some space between it, but when in fact that look is the urbanography of it all, fit here in Philly or New York or at a hip hop video. How does daytime television find you when the people who should have grabbed you didn't? This is this is this is where I was going. Um, so, I'm growing up you know, looking, looking like this guy, growing into my own sense of you know, who I am, and thinking people will be happy to have that. And by and large, little by little, you're being shown that, well, they're not necessarily happy to have that, unless it's in a particular frame. And we as people, I am not the actor who, who easily lent himself to any frame. 
I mean, I've done comic work, but I don't consider myself a comic actor. I've, I've, I've auditioned for commercials in my, in my career because I wanted the money, but I never considered myself somebody who wanted to go sell hamburger help or anything like that, and, and any gig will do. And it, there's some value in being an actor who, who can do that, yeah, right, who can absolutely. go in any direction, and actors, I, 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 and I totally respect it. But I couldn't show up in these rooms and have people believe that I was there for the job, necessarily. And uh, the casting director, Judy Bly Wilson, and All My Children, it was one of the shows that was active in casting in New York when not a lot was. There were two or three soap operas that were, that were casting. And she would see me regularly, and she said, you know, you read like a, a leading man. You, you read every time like a leading man, and, 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 and we would tend to want to cast you as such, but that look says, Cosby, you know, says, uh, Taco Bell, what are you, <laughs> you know? It's an urban opera. Uh, that's, that's, yeah. that's right. Uh, even then, I, I, I wasn't interested in, in, in trying to change it. I, was, I, I, I still at that time said, well, somebody is going to accept this. Somebody's going to see the beauty in this as I do and say, well, we want that. And interestingly, in that genre, I think what happened is that we cross a line from ethnic to exotic. Right? And that's where it starts to be okay for, for the, the, the white girls to be interested right. and to, 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 to you know, play with that little thing over there. Before that, you're ethnic, and that's a whole, that's a whole other world. And you know, if, we, if, we, if we're creating a relationship with some other ethnic black woman for, for our show, yeah, we'll call you. But if we're after something else, you know, then, and I crossed that line. And I went to audition for this role, and, and, and they said, you know, out of hand, no, we want this guy. So that was trying to happen for a long time, and, you know, that all of the forces were correct in that moment, and boom, there was uh, the prototype for, for Noah Kiefer. And I say prototype because even then, he was written, as exotic as he was, he was written as this guy with loose-fitting pants and sneakers untied and gold around his neck and stuff. You know, and I looked at that, and I said, and, and of course, I, I I was very nervous about angering people and, and, and burning bridges. And, you know, and I looked at it and said, well, is are we married to all of this? Do I have to? You know, the way he speaks, the, the way he dresses. And, well, no, you can have some 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 input. And I said, well, just on the face of it, just on the face of it, if he is this character who is. For all intents and purposes, a criminal, but a nice criminal. <laughs> you know, you know, he might, he, he, he might, uh, he might, he, he might steal your diamonds, but he'll take care of you. You know, in a, in, in, in a pinch. Um, he's probably smart enough to tie his shoes because he has to, has to has to run from from cops. Boom. You know, he's probably not wearing a whole lot of stuff that gets stuck and hung on on things and. He probably doesn't talk a whole lot because if he's in these nice houses in Pine Valley, he's looking around at how they lock their windows, you know. Um, character stuff, right. you know, actor stuff. Right. And, and very often people aren't ready. People aren't, <laughs> people aren't ready for actors, you know. They, they, just, they just want you to be grateful and do what they want you to do and, 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 and they'll pay you. And again, there's a world of actors who are happy to, to be right. and do that. That's the job. There's a, there's a logic to that that I can't argue with. I can't. I can't condemn it. Yeah, that makes perfect sense as, as, a, as a job, as a way to, to sustain oneself. But it doesn't make a whole lot of sense on a creative level. You know? And only a handful, only a very small percentage of actors, uh, black, white, or otherwise, get to be those actors, get to be indulged, you know? get to, be, uh, to uh, exercise their creative voice and creative selves all the time in, in, in what they do. And it was always a striving for that, you know, that, that, that I was after that made me move from, from one gig to the next. You know, I, I never, people would say after two and a half years on, on my children, they said, well, why don't you stay? And there was a contract was in, and they said, why don't you stay? Why don't you just collect the checks? Because right. it's not about collecting right. checks, right. you know. It's never about collecting checks. I'd have been a stockbroker. Exactly. You checks. got your locks. Sure. You put on the suit. So it's interesting because we say earlier that while in this life, it's it, you know there's been uh, a myriad of roles with weight with chasms, if you will, sometimes between them. Where you have landed has still had so much you on it. So when you talk about um, the, the the idea that you have been indulged, because we see you first as Noah, and then 
it seemed, it felt to me like the whole world of Andromeda was built around the ability to allow you to be tired. To be, did they pronounce his name? Was it tired? Tear. 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 Yeah. To be tear. It felt like the entire universe of it was almost a vehicle for this, you know, big voice, big personality. It's like, yeah, he doesn't fit on Earth. We'll create Andromeda. Uh, yeah, well, because everybody else felt like they were acting. You felt like you were present. And for a minute, that worked until it became the thing, and that gets into politics that is probably not, not, not particularly wise to commit to film. But um, that was another instance where you know, forces conspire; everything comes together. And uh, I had done a show called Beastmaster for. Uh, Tribune, which was the American partner on Andromeda, and uh, the head of development there said, we're making this show for Kevin Sorbo, and we have Canadian content rules, which means everybody is, is basically, except for Kevin, is, is living white and Canadian, and it creates an energy on board this ship that it needs something, it needs exoticism, there it is again, right, it needs a thing, and why don't you come sit down with the writer, and the writer, uh, Robert Hewitt Wolf, was a very accomplished sci-fi writer. And we sat and he talked that he created this world of these people, these uh, superhuman, genetically engineered people who uh, uh, did everything for the betterment of their species, did everything for the betterment of, uh, to, 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 what did I call them, uh, rabid Darwinists, they, they did everything for the betterment of their gene pool. Me and where my genes go is all that's important. And again, if you give an actor stuff to play, if you say, here, then he's going to start to look at that and find all this stuff. And if that's why, why they're there, they're going to they're shine. You know, that's why the actor's there. And that's what happened for the first season and a half. And then they started to sort of dial that back. You know, dial it back, dial it back. And I, I would say, well, I can't... You've created these imperatives for the character, and I'm playing these imperatives every day. How can you now go back on the imperatives as if they weren't there and have these? And that, and that's you know that's that's also a fault of a of a, a show that is 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 plot driven and not character driven. If you're going with this is how the story goes first, then the characters have to fit, right. just like soap opera. Right, right, right. You know, whereas the characters are these things, so they are going to drive the story. Uh, so uh, that's what happened there. But yes, again, it was, and and I and I got. Uh, Mail from some, some, some very interesting men of color about that character, looking at that color and saying, we see, we see our story in this, you know, in, 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 in this man who has this difference, who is unapologetic, uh, or at least strives to be for who and what he is, and is looked upon uh, with all manner of opinion and attitude because he is this thing and, and can't be anything else. Exactly. And therefore, stands in it. You know, if I can only be this, then I'm going to stand in it 150%. Uh, lots of mail, lots of mail about that. And, uh, and, and, and fan base, you know, of, of all other, you know, ethnicities and, and, and demographics as well. But certainly that. And uh, I was always excited about that. But that has happened three or four times, you know, throughout, throughout the career. And, uh, between those times, uh, there's a similar story about, about Noah's Ark uh, that I can tell you. And, if, and, if, and, if, and if Will, you because want, what I want to, he, uh, to, to, to take some breath with and, um, and spend some time, is, 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 it, is it that kind of conflict of character, if you will, that allows you to then start to consider the creation of, of, of other vehicles? Because the conversations that I've had with people about Keith Hamilton Cobb, you know, is, you know, is first of all, the brothers who automatically know you by name, and secondly, who kind of tap into this, the audacity of presence, you know, each of those characters has dared to be bigger than his landscape, and we have always imagined, you know, in some of my more intimate conversations, that that must be as conflicted for you behind the camera as it looks in front of it, and so I want to unpack that if we can. Oh, yeah? No, wait, wait, yeah. I'll say we have a okay, so, okay. Um, I want to unpack that, and, and so you talked about the Noah's Ark uh, character, but I really, you know, we, we have a whole, whole lot of time to spend on American more. So where, where do you deal with that as an actor, where there's 
the clash of character when they hand you something on the page and you have the nerve to unpack it, to, to see deeper, to give, to, to perceive or believe more dimension. No, I don't. I don't deal with it well. I don't think one learns to deal with it. I think I think I think it culminates in 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 uh, a difficult time. And if you can come to some terms, you 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 move forward. But the thing is, the idea of it abbreviating performances uh, uh, for for the for the vehicle. Uh, is difficult. You can do it in post. You can do it in, 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 in editing. And that right. is often done. And I say, well, that's your prerogative. You, you, it's your company. You're paying the bills. You can do that. But you can't do it. You have to take the whole performance. You have to take the whole person prior to that. Um, and you know, and in, in each instance of this, there has been that moment where I say, well, this is what you, you handed me. So I'm just playing well, what's here. Um, and that's often that's often too much. At one point, it was too it was it was it was too much in terms of learning to act smaller for camera. At first, uh, coming from the stage, everything was big. Right. You know, in the beginning of, of 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 all my children, everything was huge, and I had to learn very quickly. Y y the camera doesn't need all that. You know, act smaller. But an actor who learns how to do do that, you know, becomes almost even more powerful because. Now, he knows that all he has to do is stand there, that it's in the eyes, that it's in the face, that it's in the expression. Now he knows, you know, and that stillness begins to exude, you know, everything. And people say, well, you know, if he blinks, the camera's going <laughs> to follow him. You know, and what do we do? What do we do with that if he's not the lead, if he's exactly. not he's the not star of the show? Exactly. Yeah. And so how have, um, that, I was saying that before, in, in the, the presence, the second you walk on the stage of Coriolanus, and the bigness of Quincy, because, you know, I used to gather for Noah's Ark parties, and when you came on, the first one was, oh, it's Keith Hamilton Cobb, and then it was kind of like, uh-oh, it's Keith Hamilton Cobb. Like, you know, I was saying to you once in a, uh, in a pre-interview, you know, that I know a lot of people from the black male, gay male community who have yearned for a Quincy that's kind of big, about his business, eloquent, striking beyond belief, and then Noah got him and was like, wait, he's too much. Mm. He's too much. I thought I was ready for him, or I like the way we look on paper, but I can't do this. I'm not prepared to be with all that isness. And it worked as a story. Yeah. Right? I mean, it's a story right. that, 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 that worked. Because, um, I, I mean, it had built into it. We were no way, way back together, but it did force us to pause and see Quincy and how many of us, many people, men, women, you know, it's like the woman who wants the thug and then the thug hits you and you're like, that's kind of in the thug job description. He doesn't lay down and put on a suit after you, after you get with him. You know, this big personality doesn't get small just because you want him home nine to five. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. And so how have you dealt with that as an, as an, not as an actor, as a man when you're striking and commanding so that you walk into the room and before you've said anything, Heads turn before you read. You know before you go through a reading. There's well, first of all, you know I have to say it, 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 it's difficult and has always been difficult to to discuss it because one cannot help but sound, at, at least to many, conceited in discussing you know such a thing. But in coming coming into uh, the American black male and coming into his own. There is this this fine line between self love and conceit that you know he 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 has to learn to walk or has to figure out where where, where that line is. Am I being overbearing and really just about me, or am I or am I being self aware, you know, and 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 and, and unapologetic for, for 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 who I honestly am, uh, and of course. When that is framed by or, 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 or dictated to by the people who are potentially hiring you, it, it, it just becomes very, very very difficult to navigate. So given, given the, 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 the forum here to discuss it, I just wanted to preface with that, that it, 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 is, it, is, it is a difficult thing. I don't it, to, to to say, yeah, all my problems stem from I'm just too damn good looking. Well, see, but, 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 but part of the conversation 
it, when I say striking, striking is in fact about good lookingness, but it's also the presence of being. You know, as black men, as big black men, we struggle with both the invisibility of, oh, I'm sorry, I didn't see you, when people want to move past us, and the people seeing us a block away. That's you right. know what I mean? And so what it feels like, you know, what it feels like to be seen, what, to be looked at, if you will. Like, uh-oh, 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 but not seen. It's truly, truly not seen. Truly not seen for uh, uh, all that uh, is inherently good, inherently positive, inherently uh, uh, altruistic, honest, uh, intent, um, committed, in, in this case, to the work, being this actor. Because you, ha you, ha you have that first, right? You have, yes, you, you, young black men growing up in this society, coming to terms with what all that is. But then you add to that, early on you, you realize, well, I'm, I'm in this industry, this is what I do. So you show up and, and I don't want to be, you know, like Denzel. I don't want to be like, I want to be this guy with, 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 the, with, the, with, with the hair and with the personality and who, and, and, and who I am. And what, and what do It's dreadfully complex. I mean, I, I, you know, it, 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 it truly is because a, a, a lot can be written off by the industry saying, well, we want what we want and we go with what we, we have seen work before. We're not here to break new ground. We're not here to make bold choices. We're not here to uh, 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 further some uh, uh, socio-political agenda. You know, this is, we're doing business and this is, has worked before. And that's not... That's not illegitimate. You know. uh, it covers a whole lot of other stuff, but I think what, what, what I'm saying is I can't, I can't realistically blame America and the industry for being America and the industry. You know. I cannot blame it. I cannot, I cannot say, I can say, yeah, these are, these are issues. These, are, these have been problems. Um, uh, yeah, in, in, in the, I believe it's the forward to uh, Ellison's uh, Invisible Man. He 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 says first that the reason people do not see me is uh, because they refuse they refuse a, a refusal to see me. But in the very next paragraph, he he talks about a a a, 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 a dis disease or disaffection of the eye. Something something going on in the eye that sees through the eyes that see him, so, you know, the, 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 the inner eye. Something is going on in, in, in the uh, American psyche, for lack of a better term, that sees him. So is it, is it a refusal, or is the refusal, is the refusal something that is caused by this uh, action of the brain that exists in the culture right now? And, and I, ultimately it is, and if it is, well, we can we can do whatever work we do to change the perspective, uh, uh, reframe the conversation, uh, but it is what it is. So we continue to we continue to venture forth and, and, and be us because there's nothing else to be, at least at this age. You know, um, for many many years, many many years coming into this age, uh, and I think you'll, you 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 can attest to this. Um, being too much kind of looked at us like that. That means the same thing as not enough of something, right? You know, Absolutely. if I if I become more of this thing, then 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 they'll like me. Or if I'm more like this, you know, then 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 I'll be all right. But it really just is. You're too you. You're too this thing. Right. That, until of course, someone and and any number of of of, of personalities of color have done this stumble upon something that works in such a big way that everybody sees the monetary value of it. And then that becomes legitimized because it has such monetary value. And we can look at, we can look at Puffy Coombs, uh, we can look at, so he's, he, he is, as far as the industry is concerned, yeah, you're good and legitimate, you're, 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 you're fine because we see the value, everybody can, everybody can, 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 can feed off of that, that udder. <laughs> you know, everybody can feed off that ladder.
but uh, and 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 I guess to a lesser extreme, any number of uh, television and film personalities have you know, just shown up, and uh, again, that's the conspiring of elements in that moment. A lot of this is about luck. A lot of a lot of our industry is about the place, the time, who you know, the situation. Um, uh, um, opportunity, I, 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 I call it opportunity and indulgence. Mm. Uh, you know, if you were given that particular opportunity at that particular time, and then you are indulged, and then all the world sees, and that has happened for moments in, in these soap operas, in, in Andromeda, in Noah's Ark, but for moments, you know, why, why it has not uh, manifest in some, some, some other thing, I don't, I don't know. The, the, the real reason I wanted to engage in this conversation with you is because, I mean, just what you were talking about, there, there are times when people, the Will Smiths, the Jay-Z, Brett Beyonce, find this thing that connects to, 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 to America and to the commerce that is commercially successful. But greatness, history records. And Nina Simone never had a platinum album, you know what I mean? Uh, I don't know how successful the run of some of you know, August Wilson stuff was while he was with us, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. And so when I look at your work, it's so much more about greatness and, and, and for me, and I know that's a struggle for the actor who might want some sense of continuity, but there had to have been kind of an aspiration to a, a great role, if you will, when you sat down to write American War, because it felt like it has all of this in it from your perspective and so much more. I was telling you, when I sat in the audience and saw you do this gesture kind of about the wave, the big black man. Here's a thought, think that has it land and has to almost discern it before it comes out. Because it could be the difference of, and let's be clear, it's the difference of how Michael Brown is portrayed. It's like, well, he shouldn't, he shouldn't know what. You're trying to tell me you're justifying five cigarettes being the reason he's dead? He should have known what his place, his bigness? Because a lot of people played, um, you know, Michael Brown is six foot four as the big, you know, six foot six as the big black bookie man, mm -hmm. forgetting that Darren Wilson is six four. He's six four. So it's not like, but he played in the pictures like I'm little and the big black man scared me. So there's so much in this piece that you must have been sitting with from all of this, from all of this mm -hmm. kind of know your placeness, be smaller, be less because you can't be smaller, be less because you can't be smaller. How did you? channel all of that into this ridiculously uncomfortable, re brilliantly done work. Well, uh, that's, that's just it. And several times in this conversation I've talked about the uh, uh, coalescence of, 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 of events and energies and things and, and, and all of these things that we've been discussing had that moment you know, in this play. I was feeling several of them uh, uh, you know, very close to the surface on that day, and the colleague said, you know, you have, to, you have to write this down. And the play, once I committed to do that, showed up in two days. And then it was, then it was draft after draft after, of, of you know, cleaning it up and getting it right and evolving it until it is um, what you saw. Um, and, and again, it's, it's, it, it's so difficult to have this conversation um, because these issues are insanely complex, and 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 they have the ability to riff off in any number of directions. You know, we can have any number of, of socio-political discussions. Right. You know, uh, that have their, their their roots in this, and and a lot of the cleaning up and paring away and making the play what you saw was just that taking away pages and pages of stuff where I riffed off in one direction or another about these, these, these terribly complex issues that face us. Um, I was uh, someone who, who, as you have very cogently said, who was looked at but, but unseen, or if seen, seen in a frame. There's any number of, 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 of frames that I could delineate, but none of them were, 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 were the person. Um, 
I was someone who picked up Shakespeare and saw a, a voice in that work that could be mine or that I could live in. It's not my voice. I'm not going to walk around in, in life talking that way. But certainly I can go to the place and express myself. That I, I, I have, I have a, a, a forum and an excuse to express my you know, heart, heartfelt emotion through the, through the vehicle of, 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 of this, this work. Uh, and then after realizing that, being allowed in a very limited frame to do that. Very limited frame. You know, uh, for many of the reasons we discussed. You know, even, even early on, it's like, well, we, we can't cast him to be Hamlet because he's not the name. He's, he's new, so we'll get this guy and we'll cast him as, as, as uh, you know, Tybalt or Laertes or whoever. And that doesn't work so much either because he's here's Hamlet over here and here's this thing that they keep looking at. So right. let's abbreviate that. Let's figure out a way to make that. You know, um, uh, so that was difficult. And again, lots of space in between. Lots of uh, uh, learning how to ride that bicycle all over again. You know, doing a show and having a, a year of nothing, and then getting another gig and saying, "Oh yeah, I remember how to." What is the technique? How do I do? You know, starting all over again. You know, always starting from almost, almost zero. Never being a member of a company where you're doing a show every day for, you know, for three years, uh, and wanting that, wanting that very, very, honestly and fervently, you know, and that and that never showing up. And the question is, is why? Um, but I've never got a satisfactory answer to that, so I stopped asking, you know, um, because that's the we can go down that rabbit hole. And, as I said, that's right, and lived there. Um, but this this piece did come along uh, that at least expresses uh, so many of those uh, uh, obstacles, frustrations, uh, angers, uh, but also love and forgiveness that is is inherent in this conversation as well. As I said, we have to go out there. We have to be a part of this. So anger won't do, at least not. You know, unallayed uh, anger in and of itself. Uh, it, it's all right to sh to show your frustration, but you already know that they don't get it, right? right? So what else are you going to bring? What are you going to do to to get along? Um, and all of that is inherent in this five minutes in this rehearsal room with this director, who not only doesn't understand, but God bless him, he can't. Right. He can't. Yeah. It's not. It's not his fault. No. Something else has to happen before we all get to the place where we can at, at least really hear, really be available enough to hear and see, and that is the first step towards understanding. But it hasn't happened yet. It hasn't happened in my life and career. No. And no. I'm hoping for it. I mean, I still get out of bed, hopeful, and, and go out and do this because, as the character in the play says, that's what that's what warriors do. Oh, this is this is this is a a, a a singular and lonely journey, right? Yeah, but but we walk it. There's nothing. I mean, I, I know that sound. That must sound, you know, very melodramatic. But it's it, a, it, it, it it could it, it's, even when in, in in observing the piece, like you talk about all the stuff that got combed away from it, so that it didn't go off on the social justice thing. But I don't know about that, and I still felt it. And when you talk about it, it must sound very self indulgent because it is the plight of a big black guy, you know what I mean? It's like, okay, well, let me go out and, you know, maybe be more handshaking. I'm probably a hugger for that reason, you know what I mean? Or, or, or a look in the eye so that I'm just me, just see me. But if, you're, if there's already something disconnected from seeing me, and I'm trying to put on a more winning smile, as you do, you try to be somehow more socially engaging when you have the unmitigated goal to say, I'm going to be me from the gate. That young man had this in him, you know what I mean? So you can't tell him in his 50s to shift when at 15 he was like, the only way I can survive in this world is to find myself, and this is myself. And so that's what I was able to, to that, that's what, you know, there's a line in Natalie Cole's This Will Be that says, I'm so glad that he found me in time. I'm so glad that he rectified my mind. That's what your piece did for me. It, did something that restored, that, 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 that resuscitated the 99 and a half that I thought I would be okay living at. You know, if I just don't, if I just can't, I'll be okay. And it said, boom, no. So, be all of it. yeah. 
And so it's the reason, you know, that we're gonna be in New York in droves. It's the reason I'm gonna take everything I can to work with everybody I can to bring you to Newark because young black men need to sit in the room and in a room where they're being told, well, if you didn't say, well, if you didn't cuss at the store manager, well, if you had just threw your hands up, if you hadn't been playing with the gun in the Walmart, if you hadn't been a 12-year-old little boy with a play gun and the man who called said you was 12 and probably a play gun and they still shot, 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 shot. shot. And all of that's in the way you took the stage, the way you speak the words about Othello. And somebody who's trying to see you in him and him without you and, and you know what, Kevin? You know, if about that it. if 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 it moves even that, if it moves if it if if if, if it moves uh, a number of, of, of young black men to see and own and understand feel my presence in them, you know, and their presence in me, and understand that this is, uh, this, is, this, is, this is okay, it's okay for us to be who we are, then maybe all of this, you know, I keep thinking that each step in this process is preparing me for the next one, and maybe it was all for this at this point. If that happens, then I, then I, then I feel validated. I feel like, okay, all of this you know, was, was, was for that purpose, and if, 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 if that's what happened. There's more, there's other, there's the next piece, there's the next thing. As I say, for me, this, this sort of road continues. But, yeah, I, I, have, I have never put my voice out there in quite this way. Uh, I have never stood out there as, as, as my own thing. And, and it's all come about in, a, in, 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 in a, a way that I didn't necessarily orchestrate, I just wrote the play. You know? So it's being guided by something, and if it's all, if it's all to that end, and it works, I can live with that. Thank you. Because this, you get, yeah. So um, it's hashtag American More, M O O R, and it's more than you expect, more than anybody has said from this seat. And um, we'll do more for conversations than some of the conflict I feel like we've gotten lost in. Just kind of, you know, again, even as a people, there have been times when it's, kind of, well, if we just put, if we just, and it's so the opposite of that, I think. And that's what we're finding, right, in, 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 the, in the talkbacks after the show, that everybody has something to say and something to share and are a little bit more primed to, to hear. Again, if, if all this is for that, then this is a, this is a fine thing. This is a fine thing. Absolutely. What is to come is better than what has been. That is for sure. Thank you, Keith. Amen. Have Thank a good you. Time. Ah, man. Thinking me, you probably think of my mother's Toyota.